Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So today we're doing that highly requested trade back mock draft. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. So like I said, a lot of people have requested doing a trade back mock draft for the Redskins. Obviously, we all want Chase Young at that number two pick, uh, or at least most of us do. And we want to stay put. So before I start, like I said, I want to stay put here and take Chase Young. But in the event that we do trade back, I'll show you guys what we can get for that number two overall pick. So right here, let's go with, um, we will be trading with Miami. So trade with them. And I'll be realistic as possible. Some draft sites don't let you do, uh, they decline and accept the trades. I turn that off for this site. So we'll do 5, 18. I, we're not going to get 26, guys. 39. So that, and then maybe like 141 for the second overall pick. I feel like that's fair. I feel like honestly, if you look at the draft points, we would be winning that trade. So let's do that and trade those picks. Okay. So, um, five. So Jeffrey Okuda got taken at number three by the Lions with Chase Young still on the board somehow. But we will be taking Isaiah Simmons. He's the best player available and uh, is a game wrecker. So that's what we got. And we have to wait till 18. And I do want to take an O tackle here with that pick if it is still available. I hope there is a good O tackle there. So we still have Josh Jones, who is a very underrated off offensive tackle that I would love to have. Let's look. Are there any other better ones? So Austin Jackson, you could debate. Let's go ahead. Take Josh Jones, who is a stud. Okay, so we're going to wait, but yeah, like I said, don't want to take, uh, I want to take Chase Young at two and stay uh, put, but this is just showing what we could do if we did in fact take, um, trade back. So we have the 39th overall pick right here. So we could go, we didn't get a cornerback, right? Let's see what the best cornerback available is. Uh, Grant Delpit's a great player. So not any great cornerbacks right here. We could wait until 66, um, tight ends, let's see, uh, Cole Komet's still available, Hunter Bryant, Troutman, all these sets have different rankings, so that's why you see Troutman a little lower here, but best overall players, I'm going to go Levi LaVisca Chenault, honestly could be top three receiver in this draft class in my opinion, and has all the tools to be the best receiver, so I think take LaVisca Chenault, if you haven't seen this tape, go watch it, a lot of people are saying he could end up being the best receiver in the draft, so let's end up taking LaVisca Chenault. So, we're gonna we're gonna wait some more. We have twenty one picks to our selection, and there I'm gonna either take a tight end, or we can uh, wait a bit and go after tight end later. But let's see. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, please smash like button, uh, and give me some other video suggestions in the comments. So right now, um, not too many great players available. You got Michael Pittman, KJ Hamler, so you do have some great players available. But let's look at tight ends. Let's see what tight ends are still available right here. So you go Adam Troutman with the 66th pick. Um, and I think that's what we're going to do. Even though he's not ranked the best on this site, uh, I think he's probably the second best or best tight ends draft behind Cole Komet. Uh, any great receivers, let's look. Uh, Michael Pittman, KJ Hamler, KJ Hill are available. But we did take LaVisca Chenault. Uh, so we don't really need another receiver. At least this high I can go for another receiver later in the draft. So let's look at cornerback. Um, Cameron Dantzler is good. Um, and uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and take Adam Troutman. I know he's not rated the best here, but he is better than what they're rating him. All these draft sites have different ratings, but I think that's a good pick right there. So we got a while until we pick... So let's wait a bit, but I'm happy with the draft. We got a tight end for Haskins, a tackle, and wide receiver. So now let's start to build the defense up um, so we can, because we didn't get a cornerback since we got Isaiah Simmons. So let's look at cornerback right now. So you got Lamar Jackson, who's a great cornerback too, or AJ Green. Any of these two are great. What's the best pl uh, player available? So, ooh, you got you got Clyde uh, edwards Elaire, but we're not going to take him. Hunter Bryant's still available. Uh, that would have been a good player to pick. But I think right here, 
we should go either cornerback or... Sa- oh, Kayvon Wallace is so good. I think Kayvon Wallace is one of the better uh, sleeper picks in this draft. So I think we should take him right here. Um, I didn't see that he was still there. And yeah, so we got a bunch of good players right now. If you want to look at our selections, we have Isaiah Simmons, uh, Stud, Josh Jones, a Tackle, LaVisca Chanel, Adam Troutman. So probably going to go a couple more defensive players. So right now it is um, it's our pick right now. So we're at 141 and 142. So if you look at the best possible players, it's A.J. Green right here. So I think we should go for a cornerback. Um, I think he's a good cornerback. So we'll go ahead and take him. And next, let's go best wide receiver available. Any good ones? Um, best wide receiver available. So Antonio Gandy Golden is really good. And also Gabriel Davis. This site is severely underrating Gabriel Davis. Probably, I've seen him as high as 80 on like uh, rankings. So... I think you either take Gabriel Davis or Antonio uh, Gandy Golden. Let's go ahead and take Antonio Gandy. Wait, let's. I want to make sure we didn't take too many receivers. We took one receiver. Um, okay, so I do think we can end up taking another wide receiver just because uh, we already we have that position is strong, but it's not necessarily strong. Or we could double dip on tight end and get Harrison Bryant who is also very good. So actually, I think I'm going to end up taking Harrison Bryant so we can double dip on tight end. A lot of you guys were saying that in the live stream, and I think it is a good idea because our tight end uh, position is obviously very weak. So this adds two tight ends to our roster. So if you look at our selections, we got one, uh, two, three defensive players, and then one, two, three, four offensive players. So right here, we are picking now already at that one. Um, we're picking at 163 right here. So best player available, Julian Blackman. But if I remember, did we, we already got a safety, Kayvon Wallace from Clemson. So right now, since we got Isaiah Simmons instead of Jeffrey Okuda, we could end up going cornerback even though we did get A.J. Green. So, I mean, we have so many options, guys. That's what I, the, the good thing about trading back. If you look at linebacker, not too many great ones available. Um, tight end, uh, you got none that are that great either, but we already got two tight ends. So, O-Tackle right here is where we should probably go. We did get um, Josh Jones, but another O-Tackle never hurts. You got a double dip in case one busts. And Alex Taylor is very, very good, and I think would be a steal at this uh, place in the draft. So that's where I would go right there. And we have so many players that we can uh, get right now because we have so many picks because of this uh, trade down. We got two first-round picks, a second, and a couple extra picks. So I think that's why you got to take risks on players. So right here at 217, we can go... I think you either go... Uh, you could go with a safety. Let's look at some linebackers. Any good linebackers available? Uh, Cameron Brown. I have I've heard about him. I haven't seen much of his tape, but I heard have heard he's pretty good. So that would be a possible uh good player. But we did get Isaiah Simmons, so I don't think that's necessarily the best move. And cornerback. Any good cornerbacks available? Um. Uh, you got Kendall uh Vildor. Reggie Robinson from Tulsa is, I think this is the pick right here. Take another uh, cornerback uh, here. And if let's look at our picks right here. Before we get our next pick, you got Isaiah Simmons, linebacker. You got an offensive tackle to help Dwayne Haskins out. You got a stud wide receiver. You got a tight end there. So you could have picked another receiver here, but I think uh, getting a tight end for Haskins is very important. And then you went ahead and took... Uh, we got a cornerback, another tight end for Haskins, and an O-tackle, and a cornerback. So, I think this draft has been very successful so far. So, and also guys, if you see some players that were available you think we should have gotten, keep in mind some of the players I wasn't picking just because it was unrealistic them being there at that point. Just to keep in mind. So, let's look at receiver. Any good receivers still available? Uh, there's a couple Ohio State receivers that are good that we could go for. Benjamin Victor, 
But I think wide receiver is good for now. We took, so we already took an O-tackle, like I said. Two O-tackles, Alex Taylor and Josh Jones. Wide receiver, tight, two tight ends, a safety, uh, two cornerbacks. So we honestly could go with anything right here. Receiver would be fine. Could go for linebacker. Um, see if there's any great players available. Nothing too special. But I think right here, the move is uh, either go for a high-risk uh, player that also is a high-reward player at the 7th round because 7th round, 90% of the time, are not going to contribute much. Jimmy Warlin did last year, but besides that, you're not going to get much contribution. So why not go ahead and get a wide receiver to help Haskins out? Maybe Benjamin Victor, who played pretty good last year. So let's go ahead and draft him. Guys, obviously, we could have gone so many different routes with this draft, but I decided to try to focus on helping Haskins out because I think our defense will take uh, care of itself. So if you guys look at our draft, um, we got a lot of great players. So we got Josh Jones to protect Haskins, Isaiah Simmons on the defensive end, LaVisca Chenault to help Haskins out too, Adam Troutman to help out Haskins, and then we got a safety to compete with Sean Davis, a couple cornerbacks, and another tight end. And Alex Taylor. So we got so many players. So if you guys think this uh, mock draft was good, comment down below. Also, let me know what you guys would have done differently. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And check out my sponsor. Link in the description. Peace.